the GoPro games. My first year was in 2010. So the competition went really well. I had three tops and four bonuses. And I was actually one attempt out of semifinals. So I just missed it, but I was you know, really excited with my climbing and proud of how I did. My first introduction to climbing was at an outdoor mall by my house. They had a rock wall and I just really wanted to try it. And it was one of those things where the second I tried it, I was just hooked and I begged my parents to take me back every single day. I remember telling my parents, you know, I want to be a professional rock climber, I want to compete in this, and they were like, we don't know if it's an organized sport, but, you know, we're totally behind you. And luckily, a few weeks later in the newspaper, there's an article on a climbing team and how they had just gone to nationals, and from there it was like, I went to the gym, joined the team, started training and competing. I think climbing has helped me in all areas of my life because it's just really shown me that with hard work anything is possible. And, you know, I'll just think about anything else, whether it's studying for a test or just a new thing I want to try and I'm like, man, if I can work as hard at this as I do in climbing, I mean, I can do anything and I'm capable of anything. I'm excited, you know, I just did the first World Cup of the season last weekend in Toronto and that went well, I climbed well, so I've been competing for so long at this point. It's not like another day in the office, but you know, I'm really used to it and I just, Instead of being nervous for competitions, I try and go into them and just really focus on being there and how much fun I'm having and just do the best I can, you know, in the moment. And if that's first or last place, I'm doing whatever I can. Usually in my downtime, I like to read. Um, I'm a total bookworm. I think in summer I read a book a day or maybe a book every two days. So that's kind of my big downtime thing. So. I'm kind of really big into like routines, you know, when I, I still do like my strength training and my, you know, normal climbing training when I travel and that just makes me feel the most comfortable. So I try and do the same thing when I eat and my diet is pretty much the same at home as it is on the road. If I'm traveling in the U.S., I'll stop at Whole Foods before every competition and pick up things I need, you know, like spinach and meat and avocados, blueberries, bananas, whatever. I just keep my diet the same, lots of like lean meats, fruits and vegetables, and just try and eat cleanly on the road. I really enjoy all the traveling that comes with climbing because you get to go to so many new places and meet so many new people and just do new things, but it is taxing and a lot of the trips you go and you compete and you're not really sightseeing or anything like that. So I always try and be really good about at the end of the trip I'll tag on a few days to you know go sightsee and have fun because even if you're out of competition a few days early it's hard to you know go sightsee and enjoy it when you're really trying to be prepared for that competition. I think I'm just gonna keep climbing and modeling and traveling and competing and getting better at climbing, traveling more, going on more adventures and just taking every opportunity to, that I can. You know, I really wanna say that I seized every opportunity I have and you know, live them or live my life to its fullest. I think anyone who's starting this sport and wants to become pro is to just work hard and have fun. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And what I've learned is in anything in life, if you don't like what you're doing, you know, you just can't give 110% because it's just a battle to even, you know, get the first 10%. So just, you know, have fun with it and work as hard as you can because you'll be amazed at the things you can accomplish. This is Sierra signing out. On to the next adventure.